Hi, I'm Jennifer and I'm super excited you're here because football season has come back around again. I have been waiting all year for football season and it is finally here. I love to have football parties and tailgate parties and invite our friends, but I always have to have something a little creative to feed them. And I like to have things they can easily pick up and just eat with their fingers. It's so convenient while watching the game. Today we're going to be making two wonderful recipes and they're pizza recipes. Pizza recipes are my ultimate favorite recipes to make for football season. I'm going to be making a woven bread loaf and I'm also going to be making some little crescent rolls and they're going to be filled with pizza filling. I can't wait to show you how easy and delightful these recipes are to put together. They're perfect for football season. For this super easy pizza bread recipe, we're going to need a pizza crust in a can. We're going to need some pizza sauce, egg for egg wash that goes on top to make it nice and shiny, some mozzarella cheese or any cheese you desire, pepperoni or any other fillings. I'm going to use mushrooms and olives. I'm going to open up this pie crust and lay it out on a tray with parchment paper underneath. That way it will for sure not stick after it's baked. Now that I have my crust laid out, I'm just going to start at the back side and I'm going to take some kitchen shears. Now I have this on a piece of parchment paper on a baking tray, but you, if you don't have parchment paper, that's okay. Just spray your baking tray so that the pizza crust won't stick. I'm going to just start cutting some slits right up at an angle from the corner. I'm actually going to take the corner right off. These are kitchen shears and I'm going to do the other th the same thing on the other corner. I'll just take that extra thick triangle right off and set it aside. I won't be needing that. And then up on the front corner, I'm going to do the same type of situation, a diagonal, and take off the extra dough. On this side, a diagonal, and take off the extra dough. Then, in between, I'm just going to cut some long strips at an angle. Right along with the same angle is the corner. And just do that on both sides, just like this. You can use a knife too on a cutting board, but just be careful not to cut your tray. I have my crust already, and now I'm just going to take a little bit of garlic powder and sprinkle on this crust. This is completely optional. I just like to give it a little bit of extra flavor. All right, and now it's time to start putting on our sauce. Now remember to keep all of the ingredients right in the very middle. Try not to go too far down the ends or out onto the branches. I just call them branches because it's that easy to make call these branches and think that we're going to fold them up just like a tree branch. I put a little bit of basil on the sauce just so it would make sure to have some extra flavor. I usually add make my own sauce, but today for this recipe, I'm just using some sauce from a can container. Then I'm going to put down some pepperoni and this goes together super quick. As you can see, it's only taken me just minutes so far to put this recipe together. I'll put down a layer of cheese and we'll layer this just like we would with a type of lasagna or something that has different layers all incorporated inside. Now that we have a layer of cheese down, I'm going to go ahead and add just some canned mushrooms. I've drained these really well because we don't want them to be wet or sloppy inside of our pizza. Now I'm just going to put on some black olives. Of course you can add any toppings you like to this. If you like peppers or jalapenos, any type of different kind of banana pepper. You can add ham and pineapple. A lot of people love ham and pineapple pizzas. This would be a really great time to make something like that. That should do. I'm going to add a little bit more seasoning to this. 
just right over the top. I want it to be really good and flavorful, so a little bit of dry basil and a little bit more dry garlic powder. Then I'm gonna add a little bit more sauce, just drizzled right over the top, real quick. We don't want it to be too dry, we want it to be nice and delicious. And then I'm gonna add in another layer of cheese to hold everything together. The last thing I'm gonna add is one more complete layer of pepperoni. As you can see, we have a good amount of ingredients here in the middle. We want this to be nice and full, so when we get it all closed up and braided, that it isn't sinking down and soft, that it's nice and full. Now that we have our bread all ready to go and it's all stuffed, we're gonna start folding it up. We're gonna take the end of the bread and wrap it up, pick up the bottom square, and just press it down right here onto the sides of the two little branches on the end. Then we're gonna take the front piece and we're gonna do the same thing. Just fold it over and stick it to the branches right inside. That way the ends are closed up. And then we're gonna take the end piece and pull it up and reach it right across and stick it inside the branch right across from it. We'll do the same with the one on the other side. If they're a little bit thick, just press them out just a little bit. Tuck those ends under so they look really nice. You can manipulate the dough a little bit just so that the two sides look as uniform as possible. And then just keep alternating. Take another piece, wrap it right up over, and press it down into the piece opposing it. Then the next piece, and you can stretch these a little bit if you need to. Whatever you need to do to make them stretch all the way across and we'll just keep alternating back and forth. As you can see, this is super easy and it looks just incredible. Right up over and across. Now here, when I get to the very end, I'm gonna do something just a little bit different. Let me pull this piece across here. Okay, we have four pieces left. When we get to the end, I'm gonna bring this piece up and put it across this way, and this piece across this way. That way our bread will look nice and finished in the end. And then go ahead and take the final piece and wrap it up over and tuck it in. And then the last piece, just do the same. Bring it right up over the top and fold it down. Make sure you stick the pieces together the best you can so that they don't come unraveled. We have our pizza bread all braided and ready to put on the egg wash. I have an egg in this bowl and I'm just gonna beat it up with a fork. Just whisk it really nice. This is gonna be the egg wash we put on top. This will make our bread look really nice and shiny and professional. It'll give it a really nice texture on top of the pizza bread. While our oven is preheating, just take a soft little brush. If you don't have a brush, you can just use a spoon or something. Use the back of the spoon. Just wipe this right over top of the bread. Don't get it down inside if you can help it where all of your other things are because that will make a really odd eggy consistency in there. Just do a really nice thin coating over the top of the bread. At this time, if you'd like to put any other seasonings, I'm gonna just put a really nice thin layer, a sprinkle of garlic powder right over the top. And just a little bit more dry basil. Just to give it that real Italian look and a little extra flavor, of course. Let's get started with this easy crescent roll pizza roll up. The first thing we'll need are a one package of crescent rolls. This is an eight count, so we'll need one package of those, four mozzarella cheese sticks that we'll cut in half. 
we'll need some some sort of pizza sauce. This is a just a regular pizza sauce in a little plastic container. And it works really well because it has a pour top. And I really like that for putting these types of recipes together. And we're gonna need some pepperoni or some filling. I have in this little bowl, some, a little pinch of basil, oregano, garlic powder, and some mozzarella cheese. But this is optional, that's just to put on the top. And we're gonna need one beaten egg if you'd like them to be nice and shiny and look professional. So let's get started. I'll get all of these things opened up and we'll roll these up and get them in the oven. I'm ready to go with this pizza recipe. I'm gonna take three pepperoni and a half of a mozzarella cheese stick and put that down. Then I'm just gonna squirt on a little bit of sauce right in the middle and start rolling this up. I fold the corners over so that everything doesn't gush out, but then I'll get it rolled up. Oops, it's get a little messy there. Just put the open in the little point down. Put it on the parchment paper and we'll get on to the next one. Pre-game will be starting soon and our friends will be arriving before too long. I'll have these coming out of the oven just when it's time to have a nice little snack for the game time. Try your best to get the dough wrapped around really good and snug around the pepperoni, the cheese stick, and the sauce so that the cheese doesn't boil out when it's baking in the oven. I have all of the pizza rolls on the tray. Now I'm gonna take the beaten egg and just put a nice egg wash right on top. This will make these nice and shiny and it'll also help our topping to stick on. When you're ready to make this recipe, make sure you keep the crescent dough in the refrigerator because you wanna keep it nice and cold. Now that we have the egg wash on all of our little pizza crescent rolls, go ahead and take your topping and sprinkle it right on top. You can put as much or little as you like, or you don't have to put any at all. Let's get these in the oven. They're super cute and they'll be so nice for the football party. The oven is ready. We'll put these in the oven at 375 for about 15 minutes or until golden brown. The delightful little pizza rolls just came out of the oven. They smell absolutely amazing. I'm gonna be serving this with a little bowl of pizza sauce. Nice and warm from the oven as well. Our guests will absolutely love these wonderful pizza rolls. They're so easy to pick up and eat and serve. I hope you give these recipes a try and realize just how easy and how delicious and fun they can be. I would be so happy if you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And stop back to see me. I'll have video number two in the series coming out soon.